So many of you have been seeing the different celebrities now getting in on the political conversation. I mean, November 3rd is gonna be a very, <laughs> a very interesting day. But 50 Cent clearly said, I don't wanna be 20 cent under Biden, I'm gonna be 50 cent or a dollar under Trump. And, and I don't wanna be in a position where I gotta pay more to the government unnecessarily if I don't have to, if I can keep more of my money, I can keep reinvesting back into my project, keep reinvesting back into my family, my business. And if I work hard for my money, I get to keep it, right? So that's a whole big argument right now is going on with 50 Cent. Last week I did a video about, about uh, Ice Cube saying, listen, I gotta hear what these guys gotta say. Platinum plan, $500 billion infrastructure. And he says, I don't trust any president. None of these presidents done for our community, the black community, <clears throat> what I've been looking for or what our previous generation been looking for. So I care about me. So that's what Cube is saying. I care about me, I care about our community. And when you're looking at the, the numbers though, you're looking at uh, the areas of Biden versus Trump, you're looking at taxes significantly increasing from where Trump is at right now to what Biden wants to do. And when I'm thinking about the two schools of thought, here's how I break it down. Here's how I process things. You may, you may or may not agree with me, but here's how I process things. Listen, I'm an average kid that had a shot coming out of the military to do something big with his life or not. I could have done something with my career in the military or not. I could re-enlist it or not, which I chose. I did eight years in the Marine Corps and I chose not to re-enlist. Why? Because I discovered another career. I discovered another from a way of making money as a single father with custody to my kids. I found a way for me to progress and make more money than I was in the military. I was making $20,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marine Corps. And when, when I'm looking at all the different candidates, when I'm looking at personalities versus policy, see, that's the way I process things. I've processed things. There's been many guys and gals I have not liked and liked in the military. My career in business, I've been an entrepreneur now for 21 years. And there's many people I have not liked. But I look at their policies. I look at about what they do. And more importantly, like I look at all the platforms. And I've been you know, having conversations with my kids extensively about how we should process certain things. Because there's going to be many people in your life that you're not going to like. And in a minute here, I'm going to share with you where I'm at right now doing this video from. It's got some significant value to inspire me to think bigger and to understand that we as a citizen, we as, a, uh, as an American can make some significant difference in our families regardless of who's in the White House. But let me, let me not digress because here's the thing like me, here's how I process things. Nobody gave me a shot in life, right? I had to fight for everything, the self-made, team-made, cash flow, millionaire, this type of conversation. If, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you know that I'm all about becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire, okay? And so what has allowed me what has allowed me a shot to go from the neighborhood I come from to go into the military, serve our country, get out, no college degree, put food on the table, has been this thing called capitalism. It has been an opportunity for me to go do something special with my life, to have this thing called economic mobility, to go from broke to balling. And when I look at all these different things, all these issues, I got to put a priority in how I view policy and at the top of my list, at the top of my list is economy. Can I be taking advantage of this benefit package of being in America, of living my dream, of living out my dream, whatever, however I define it, however you define it, with the best economic opportunity possible that can take care of my family and lean not on somebody else, but lean on me, what I do with my money. I like the school of thought that says, you know what, get out of my way, let's increase the GDP, let's do our job collectively as citizens and say, let's take care of ourselves. That's where my school of thought comes from. And when I see the opportunities that these politicians can, can say, okay, here are policies that allow you to do just that. So for me, I don't vote, I don't lean on personality, I lean on policy. There's been many people that I don't like. And you're going to run across a lot of people that you don't like. Matter of fact, we just spent the last couple days in this historic location, hammering out what we call a declaration of values and principles of what our company stands for. And we got people that are white, black, brown, you know, uh, a socioeconomic upbringing differences, sexual orientation differences, religious differences. But guess what? We're able to hammer out a document and say, this is what we stand for. And here's how we're going to be running our company for the foreseeable future for a very, very long time because we're creating a legacy company, a company that we feel is gonna be around for 100 years. And when I'm thinking about what's going on in our country right now, I gotta ask myself very clearly, 
And you got to ask yourself very clearly, what do you want to be? What are you going to do to help me as an individual citizen to better benefit myself? Because listen, I'm also of the school of thought that says, I can't help anybody if I'm broke. I can't give what I ain't got. So as you're going through this process, you see 50 Cent, you see The Rock, you see J-Lo and A-Rod, you see Ice Cube. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, where do you want to be? If you want to be broke for the rest of your life, then vote one way that's going to give you the most amount of benefits without you having to do nothing. But if you say, I've defined what being financially free means. I've defined that I want to be a first generation cash flow millionaire, then I got to vote on a policy towards policymakers that allows me and affords me the opportunity to get better. Because if you look at all the facts, if you look at all the data right now, I'm looking at all these different facts and figures and, and 50 cents saying, I don't, I'd be 20 cent under Biden, but I'd be 50 cent under Trump. And then you, you put over these different politicians and their policies, you gotta figure out what your economics are all gonna be. So let me share with you a little bit about why I'm doing this video right here in this very room. Because you know what's created in this room? Let me share what was created in this room. Right behind me are six gentlemen back over 110 years ago. And this is the room where they created a certain policy to create the central banking system called the Federal Reserve. That's correct. I'm right now in the Federal Reserve room with these gentlemen, spirit here dwelling within me, led by Senator Aldrich. Where am I? I'm in Jekyll Island right now. I'm in Jekyll Island. And in this very room, as I stand right here, in this very room, in this very room called the Federal Reserve, the room I'm standing in right now is where the Federal Reserve laws were created to create the central bank, the Federal Reserve bank system. It's a pretty significant room. And these gentlemen here created policies to create opportunity for America, to create uh, economic growth in America, where it's the most powerful financial institution in the world, where gentlemen like Greenspan and Bernanke, these are Federal Reserve chairmen, they're in this room at one point. I think it was 2010 when this picture was, yeah, it was November, uh, November 2010 where it was taken. But they created policy. They inspired a generation of people who are thinking bigger so they can do bigger and obviously so they can have bigger. In these very halls that I'm walking in right now, this very hall right here is where every president has been to. In this very hall, in this very hall here is where people are thinking bigger, having access to conversations and information and relationships to allow them to do more, to create more, because the American dream is about people who create. Look at these, whew, I'm getting the chills right now I'm on these guys' spirit. This is Jekyll Island, where the guys of Rockefeller, William Rockefeller, is hanging with these guys, Bosworth, Tolbridge, and J.P. Morgan. Matter of fact, the place I was staying right now was the first condo ever financed ever in America. Financed by whom? J.P. Morgan. So if you really want to get involved in these issues, if you really want to say, okay, what's the best policy for me? You got to get yourself in a position of inspiration and education and not just allow social media to tell you how to vote, who to vote. Let celebrities tell you who to vote, how to vote. You got to do your due diligence. You got to access information that will inspire you to think bigger because if you do that, and when that, when that moment happens, when I'm in, in that position, where people can inspire me and teach me, not through their words, but their deeds and actions, man, you can then say, I'm voting for this president. You gotta figure that out. You gotta figure out what that situation would be like for you. Just like these guys behind me, inspired in this very room to create the greatest economic bank the world has ever seen, which is the Federal Reserve. Think about this. The world's currency is based on the American dollar based on the inspiration and the laws that these gentlemen had passed over 110 years ago. Let me know what you're thinking. Drop in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. How are you accessing information? How are you getting aware outside of just social media and TV and CNN and MSNBC and Fox? How are you actually accessing information? Are you reading? Are you processing? Are you just saying, oh, I just read this on a tweet. I just read this, uh, uh, I read this in a blog. I just saw this in an interview. No, you have to dive deep into the issues, get access from all bits of information. So therefore you can come to a conclusion of where you want to be and end up. Because here's the thing, man. Yes, these taxes are gonna affect people who want to get rich, but don't you want to get rich? Don't you want, don't you want to get wealthy? Don't you want to be in a position of financial independence? Do you want, do you want to be a first generation cash flow millionaire? Well, how you vote will either help you get there faster or delay 
your success. That being said, drop in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you're thinking. If you haven't done so already, please mash that like button on my Facebook page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe, hit notification, be alerted the next time we upload our next video, which is topics surrounding things that allow you to think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire. So therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire yourself. That being said, I'm a money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to live smart, and be money smart today. Let's <laughs> go.